Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome to episode 30 of my Wigan Warriors save with Wigan in the FM 16 beta. I don't know where I was going with that quite. Um, but yeah, today we have Nottingham Forest, who have been our title rivals all season long. And um, yeah, this could be a very key game in the title race. So the last time off you saw us um, beat Burnley 2 wait, was it? Yeah, you did see us beat Burnley 2 no Tumor and Scott Sinclair getting the goals on that occasion. So after that match, we drew one all with Rotherham. This was disappointing because I thought we got the winner. It was 30 minutes left, but I thought we could hold that on. Hedges gave us the lead, but um, Cowlin Lavery. I, um, I see this guy a lot, uh, a lot, and I, I always say, oh, I should probably ask someone his name, but I, I don't know how to pronounce it. So Ch Cowlin Lavery is what I'm gonna go with. You got an equaliser too much from time, and yeah, that was just annoying. But Forest have dropped more points recently than we have, so um. Yeah, it's been good. So, yeah, then we beat Wolves 1-0. Scott Sinclair scoring the only goal of the game. He's back to his best. Uh, then lost to Watford 2-1. It's a little bit disappointing. Deeney gave gave um, them the lead in the 18th minute. We then equalised in the 47th minute. I was like, yes, we we'll equalised right before half-time. We're going to go out there in the second half, get a winner. And they scored straight after, still in, half, in the first half. Ricky Alves, 45 plus 3. And we just couldn't get an equaliser in the second half, which was really disappointing. But Watford were third at the time, so it wasn't an unexpected loss. Well, not an unexpected loss, but it was it wasn't the end of the world. Um, but yeah, then we bounced back really nicely. I mean, again, we went behind against Palace from Nesson, and I thought this might be a start of a run of bad form that could see us drop out of the automatic promotion places. But yeah, after half time, good team talk. Hedges, Tumor, and Pierce getting the goals to um, give us a nice three-one win. And then most recently, we drew with Bristol City. We one nil up for most of this match. Kel Heyman's giving us the lead, but um, Will Keane got a late equaliser. I put I did some last-minute substitutes to see if we could possibly grab a winner but it wasn't to be so that just bring, brings us to the Nottingham Forest game we are top of the championship by two points although Forest were losing for a long time on Saturday and we were winning for a long time so that could have been um, another three points so we would have had two more points so we would be on 78 and they would be on 73 so like that would be a pretty big gap but yeah there is only six games left and a win today will put us five points clear with five games left um, so yeah that, that would be that would be amazing and yeah, from there, I'd, we'd be in a very, very, very strong position to win the title. If we win today, I think we secured ourselves a playoff space. So I think we've, yeah, we're probably already going to um, beat last season's tally, which is always good. Um, or placing, not tally. Yeah, this is going to be the team today. We've got Zvik in goal, as usual. He's been a beast this season. I just, you know what? I, I love when you just don't notice your keeper because he's just keeping everything out. Clean sheets, 20 clean sheets compared to 12 and 10 in his previous two seasons where he actually played more in that season. He's developed nicely. You can just see with those like with those stats, he conceded as well has gone up and up. Yes, that is because our defence is good too, but like, yeah, the average rating has stayed mostly the same. But yeah, just that that just going up and up and he's won a man of the match as well. Um, been, yeah, a really tremendous player for, uh, player for, <laughs> I said player really weirdly there, player for us. Um, since he joined from Dundee United, and yeah, loving him right now. Conti is at right back, Troiani at left back, Jason Pierce and Alberto Massi in the centre of the defence. Midfielders are Hamza Chowdhury and Moussa Dembele. We've got Ryan Hedges on the right, Scott Sinclair on the left, Callum Gribbin through the middle, and Kiel Heyman's up front. Bench of Bachman, Hendry, Mergia, Tuma, Lansbury, Crowley, and Mitchell. Let's submit this team and um, yeah, give out our best shot against Forest. So we drew one all earlier in the season. I'm actually just going to yeah go back to that. So. They're actually not playing Emir Hughes. He hasn't done very well for them, to be honest. Um, I think he's only scored two goals in his ty entire time, and he's meant to be an advanced playmaker, but obviously a central midfielder. But you'd think they get more than two goals in three seasons. He's all f his uh, his uh, average rating isn't great too. I think it's around six point seven or something like that. It's not amazing, but yeah, for ten for a ten million pound signing, it's definitely a bit of a um, bad signing. But yeah, let's make them pay for p giving us ten million pounds. Actually, no, um, let's just win. That's a good. That's a good thing. Or even even a draw, as long as we maintain our place at the top of the league, I'm quite happy. But a win would really, really cement our position at the top of the table, and I would absolutely love it because they have been our rivals all year. We haven't actually been out of second place since like the sixth or so day of the season. I think it's the same with them. So yeah, they've never been lower than second. But yeah, literally nothing has happened. So um, I'm gonna say I'm far from pleased because when nothing happens, I like to do that just to you know just get them motivated. Try and you know at least try and create opportunities, um, and then yeah, just a couple of team talks that motivate, inspired a few people. But, yeah, Chico Flores now, Maya for Nottingham Forest, Vera Two, and Mola De Daily, who used to play for Celtic, I think, maybe Cardiff, I don't know, one of the two. They both have Norwegian managers, so yeah, Mola Daily now the ball in Massey, much tries to get Bialik off the bar and over. 
Um, yeah, very, very close for Forest there, almost taking the lead. But we did stay quite resolute. I'm going to drop it back to counter because we're not creating a lot of opportunities. We are away from home. Um, we're not having the most of the possession, but yeah, we're definitely not creating enough opportunities. So maybe on the counter, we might be able to. And I'm going to calmly encourage the team to just, you know, venture forward when you can and try and create maybe an attack on the counter. But yeah, that, that, that has created them dominating possession a bit more. And it's the 89th minute I haven't made a substitution because it's just absolutely flown by. Whoopsie daisy. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that and just see what what we can do in the last few minutes. I, I think I just went control. No, I didn't. I went, I'm going to go attacking now. Uh, this isn't, no, okay. So this is probably going to be the final highlight. So this has been probably the shortest game I've ever done in an episode. I literally, I swear I was just saying well, we've kicked off about a minute ago. But yeah, what a boring live com. I apologize, guys. But yeah, that, that's annoying. So it was a draw. Watford drew as well, so they didn't gain any ground. Sunderland, how do they do? They won, but it's not really affecting us, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was such a short thing. So, yeah, Villa are 12... Villa, sorry, Huddersfield in 7th, which is a place outside the playoffs, are 14 points off us with 5 games left. So, 2 more points would absolutely seal um, a playoff place. So, hopefully we get that against Villa. But, yeah, I apologise for such a short episode today. Um, has there been any transfers or anything? Just thinking, I think, no. Omar's gone out on loan to Carlisle. I think that happened last time. Um, we've had a few injury. we've had a few more injuries, um, but people have been coming back. And yeah, Brezovic has resumed full training apparently, so that's really good news. Dilverson was a little bit injured. Who else is injured? Pere Pereira, of course, is still injured, injured for still between nine days and four weeks. That's quite a long gap. Like, that's between like one and a half weeks and four weeks. Which is a long gap. But yeah, we're beginning to get everyone back. Um, still, fitness issues are a problem. But there are a lot of people with 100%, which I like. I almost did a full team for 100% as I have before in a live com. But um, this wasn't this game. This was a couple of games ago. But yeah, I just couldn't quite make it. And um, like I could have, but that would involve me playing like a left back up front or, or something. But yeah, I guess the next time I will join you is... I, I will try, if I can figure it out, to do like a match that we could win the title from. Um, but instead, like if if I accidentally win the title, because it's uh, it's likely to happen, then um, I'll 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 like go in there and then I'll probably go to the end of the season and do just like a little review of the end of the season. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say. I mean, that was just a really 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 shit episode. So I apologise for that. Let's look at the board comp. Oh yeah, actually, yeah. When was it the last time we didn't come second? So we were first there. Um, if we actually go into this, because this pointless past positions but we're getting forest so yeah we've been first and second since this match day the 10th match day of the season it's now the 43rd that's amazing we've been battling it out so well um and it's been really really fun and yeah they've been they had a very long period where they were just first and we were quite far back but we managed to get it up went ahead of them went back oh, oh were we both second here or something what happened here but they were, they can't have been second. We were also second. This week was a weird week. <laughs> maybe someone, maybe we were level on points or something. Or I think I think that's just a glitch or something. Um, one of us was probably first. But yeah. Anywho, so I will join you back for maybe when we win the title or something or the end of the season. I will see you back soon. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I've been the FM Gaffer. See you guys next time.